Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I am coming at you from a little bit of a different view than usual. And I'm doing this video um, after seeing Jessica Rapp's video on reorganizing her craft room. And um, she's doing a before video um, and then an after video. So she's challenging other junk journal YouTubers to do this. And so I've been meaning to clean this, reorganize my whole craft area for months now, and things just kept getting in the way. So when I saw her video, I was like, I just need to do it. Um, I just need to jump in and get this taken care of. And this is a perfect opportunity. So this is my craft area. And I know I haven't made a video in a while. I want to do an update video. I'm probably going to do that um, next. I'm not sure which video will go up first. But for today, we're just going to focus on this before video. And this is my craft area. It's on one side of my bedroom, so I don't have a whole room dedicated to it. And there are other parts of my apartment that have craft things um, right outside my um, door in the hallway and a little bit of an area downstairs. I'm probably not going to focus much on those because they're pretty organized um, and I don't work in them. So this is where I work. And when you see me record videos, it's on this area right here. So that's where I do all my work. As you can see, I did no pr preparing for this video. I cleaned nothing. I moved nothing. So this is my work area at its worst. And I have realized that <clears throat> during this, um, junk journal, um, I guess the whole time that I've gotten into junk journals, it's a lot different from other crafts because it does require more of a variety of things. And I've realized that as you accumulate and as you move through journals, you have to like redo your organization and like just cleaning everything up after a journal or a journal series is a whole project in and of itself. And it's always kind of evolving because I've gone through many different ways of organizing. And this time around, um, it's going to change a little bit again. And it always changes a little bit each time. Um, but let me just get started by showing you the general structure, I guess. And I moved here about a year ago, a little over a year ago. So when I moved into this room, I wanted to make sure that everything was super convenient. So when you look at this area, there's this table that's part of my craft area. When I am filming, I have this up. So this is usually what you see. That's the white background that you see. But this desk right here, or it's more like a chest. It is, okay, the bottom part is where I keep a lot of fabrics. It's not all of my fabric, but it's like what won't fit in the closet, basically. Underneath, I have a bind it all. This is not craft related. And I have things from like two Hobby Lobby sales ago <laughs> that I haven't unpacked. Um, these are things that I need to put away. I used this in a project. And basically it's just a mess. This is where I keep a lot of camera. I use my phone to record, but this is kind of like, I have a selfie stick in here. And when I record, 
I'm usually sitting on this chair, so I just turn around and get my microphone out, which is, I'm using it right now. And it's just all that kind of stuff with the little other odds and ends in there. This is more fabric in here, little pieces usually that I really like. It's a bit of a mess right now. Um, and this surface on here was intended to stay plain. Like I only wanted these things right here because I, when I sit on this chair, I reach over and there's this scratch paper that I use to glue and things like that. And things have just piled on here. These are journals I'm working on. This is what I'm working on as well. I'm doing five journals of the same thing. These are book blocks that I'm using and it's just piled on here right now. Um, this is a spine from a book from the 1800s that I'm trying to save. It's very brittle. Um, so yeah, like I intend to keep this area and over just empty. And when I open this window, like the, there's a window right here. When I open it, it's great for um, taking pictures when, they're, when it's daytime. So that's supposed to not have anything on it. So this is one end of this whole U shape here. So I made this a U shape to maximize um, not having to get up and walk. <laughs> um, but as we go down this way, I have some crochet thread and ribbon up here within reach. Of course, it's really messy, like it's not supposed to look that messy, so you can't really see it. And then I have like this letter organizer where I keep um, some tools that I use. And see, like this is scratch paper, so I'm just going to put it in here so that whenever I need paper, I just grab that. These are tools that I keep here that just kind of stack up and they're right within arm's reach. My envelope punch, which comes in handy right here. Um, and tape, like I'm very used to having these things around me. A stapler, um, file folder, I'm running kind of low that I've gotten from estate sales. This here is a paper organizer. And down there are other tools. My paper cutter, I reach for it all the time. Scoreboard, um, paper pads, and yeah. This is from that book I'm trying to save. This, I'm the one that the spine is brittle. So I've been using um, the pages. They're, it's old paper, but it's not brittle. So it's great for, I print on it. I use it for collaging, things like that. So that's this little tower here. And when I'm sitting in my chair right here, I can just reach over. So it's really convenient. We go more towards this side. So up here, that's office supplies. And then my washi tape. And then this is not very, like I don't reach for this stuff very often. So I'm thinking of changing that around. This is buttons. And see, at one time I tried labeling and then ran out of the labeling tape. So I stopped labeling. <laughs> Um, but embroidery floss, these are typically things I reach for. And then, so this is where you guys usually see me. I'm usually sitting right here. And this section is where I will keep, well, these are done. See, I haven't updated anything. And... 
this is where I will if I'm collecting something I was working on retro journals so all things retro went in here that I wanted to go into those journals and then I was gonna work on a baby journal I put the baby journal so this is like the next journal coming up and I just add things in there these are odds and ends from the last retro journal they need to be cleared out and so I try to keep these empty so that I can collect things for the next journal inside there is a box with old book blocks that I reach for a lot um, under this mess right here are collaging baskets this is all fussy cut images and these are just scraps so I keep them handy because I've been working on um, botanical journals where I do a lot of collaging um, and I know this part looks like a huge mess but I've kind of set this area up so that it's really easy to clean so this like when I glue I put this paper down and then I glue on top of it and then I'll like put this paper over and like um, press the glue down so this is where I just reach over and I put this over here and the next time I glue I just reach back over and grab it now here let me show you what's on the wall up here this this is a lamp that I typically turn on I have a lamp on this side and a lamp on this side this lamp right here is usually turned this way when I'm recording so that there's light and above here that's my calendar where I try to make a schedule as you can see it's from November it hasn't been updated <laughs> and these are bath um, you put it in the shower and you put your shampoo your loofah your soap on here so I bought one two three of them and I hung them here for ribbon storage and then I have one over here they've been working really good because I tried storing my ribbon in other ways and it was not fun um, this works for me and these hooks here serve as um, storage as well this is for book binding um, my red line tape right there this is where I put all my scissors so I put them a lot of them away but in when I clean my desk it's really easy I just start hanging things and my glues all go in there and it's really simple to clean so this I love the way I set this up these are tools I reach for a lot so let me see if I can kind of show you when I'm cleaning it's really pretty simple I use this a lot for um, opening up books like taking the book blocks off this is for book binding I use it a lot my rotary cutter I keep it here bone folder I keep it here so as you can see anytime it gets kind of messy I just start filing things away I have this bowl here to help with book binding as well um, binder clips I love using these things I use them um, at every job I've had I've used this so even for crafting it's so convenient to flip through papers and they're not sticking um, my distress inks I keep here usually this usually goes up here with this circle punch and my needles and yeah so I'll just start filing things glue sticks go in here stapler goes up here these are scissors it goes in there this is an owl all it goes in there so see I just keep filing 
and pretty soon the desk is pretty clean. So that part of my organization I really like. Now on this side, once I kind of file everything around it, I'll start cleaning up the papers, which is what I need to do. Over here is scrapbook paper that I, um, they're like leftover pieces that I need to use up. So I stick them in there after a project. And then I have my little tablet here, which this is what I watch while I'm working. My sewing machine's here. So see, this is my desk. On this side, I reach for things. And then to my left is my sewing machine. So I just pull it forward. Usually this thing, it's, this is my little hardware situation. <laughs> so this will go in there. I have brads and eyelets and hammers and things like that in there. But this will usually go right over here. So it's still within reach from where I sit at my desk. And my sewing machine is right here. I just pull it forward. It's very convenient to do that. And then I have a little drawer here with thread, bobbin, all my other scissors, um, things like that. And then over here, I have two um, of these rolling carts. And I've had this one for a while, but this one I got when um, during Black Friday. It's only $25. And my intention is not to fill this up with supplies, but I started labeling. Those are retro book pages, or it doesn't have to be book pages. It could be digitals or whatever. But these are just papers, so vintage paper, sewing, just different themes. And I dedicate a whole drawer for each theme, like sewing, beauty book pages, floral book pages, children's, that's miscellaneous. And then I was going to do like a secretary journal, so that's secretary book pages. So that way I can just file them in there without having to dig through things so that's been working decent um this chest i mean this cart right here i have been printing a lot of floral papers so i've been putting it there it does need to be organized and relabeled or labeled so i'm about to do that during this whole like reorganization but I do that so that I just have a lot of like an easy way to just like throw papers without it becoming like a huge mess. Um, this is what I've been working. Okay. These are my little die cuts. I've been using my Sizzix a lot, the big shot. So I just have it there. It doesn't belong there. So that needs to be put away somewhere. This is my current project. So all the ephemera and tags and pockets have been going here. Tags here, they should be put away. Paper, so that needs organizing. And over here, I put stamping materials, the most used ones. Punches are down there. And as you can see, I just need to stand up and reach over. So it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty handy. Over there, um, tassel stuff, beads and stuff like that. Here's more ribbons and lace and trims. So all of this right here is within reach. And it's like a U shape. Now when we come to the other side, there's a desk right here. And on the ground here is not a crafting material. I need to clean the ground. But here is mixed media. Here is an empty drawer or kind of empty that I need to dedicate something to. Jewelry making is down there. 
more stamps are in here. Um, so I kind of need to like put everything and organize everything in there. These two bookcases are mostly dedicated to crafting, not the top. Those are just books, but that napkins are right here and this whole area here. I can pretty much reach from my desk and then this is another little storage system that I tried to start and these are just backup supplies like extra glues rhinestones flower embellishments more rhinestones tape and adhesives over there um, just you know different things I need to make labels that's one of my goals to make labels and same with this it all needs to be redone yeah so that's what I'm gonna work on just to make I'm mainly working on a lot of botanical right now and I feel like that's not gonna require me to pull a lot of different things so it'll be perfect for me to like reorganize and then just focus on my projects now let me see if okay I'm gonna show you hallway where I also keep stuff and here just this bottom right here is all my fabrics this is the majority of my fabrics it's full to the very back and then here's wedding gown stuff I got two wedding gowns and um, it's just like appliques and things like that and then over here is a bookcase of most of my vintage books. So this is where they usually go. And they, they need um, organizing a little bit too because I've accumulated more. This is from a five ring binder. Um, yeah. And then over on this side is my printer. So this is where my printer is. I've been printing like crazy. I just got the instant ink program, which I love. And this is kind of revolving. It's not, this isn't just a mess that's been here for a while. Like I've been printing and these are papers that will get printed on next. These are ones I print. Like I wanna, I don't, I'm not too happy with these. So I wanna do something with them. Um, old catalogs down here um, yeah just a lot and then these drawers here are not this is vintage office supplies and things like that but I want to kind of revisit this whole thing it's just coffee dyed stuff and um, well, there's the label right there. <laughs> so I kind of want to rethink everything. And here are my couple ledger books, my five ring binders. And yeah. So I am going to try to reorganize. And then my I really want to make labels, like just print labels and tape them on to things and then I will hopefully get this done pretty quick because I want to make an after video like this is a great way to just focus and get it done so thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll be back really soon with the after video and thank you Jessica for this idea because I think it's a great way to just kind of like get people to it's like a great motivator and just to do it because in actuality it's not going to take that long especially I've been thinking about this for months <laughs> so it's just going to take a little bit of focus a couple days maybe a week and it'll be like a brand new area so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time Bye, everyone.